Hey guys, it's Extra Lifetime again. Justin, I'm so excited. This will be our third year doing it. I can't believe it. You started out, you were our pioneer, went with Phoenix Overdrive and did the whole 24 hours and inspired us to come back. We're here again to do it though. Uh, it's, a, it's really exciting to, to get to do this again with you, but it's also exciting because it's got a little bit more of a personal impact yes. uh, doing it this year. So please, Justin, yeah. tell us a little bit about so, that. So initially when we started at the beginning of the year, uh, it's it's kind of sort of funny, even though it's a serious thing that ended up happening. We had talked about switching our hospitals because you're actually in Albany. I'm in Rochester. We've been doing mm -hmm. Galasano's Children's Hospital in Rochester for the last two years and thought about switching it. And we were like back and forth, but we ended up staying, keeping the same. You know, fast forward a few months from after setting it up, uh, my my niece was born three months early uh, at the uh, what's what's the name of the hospital again? It's Bernard. I forget the name. The Children's Hospital. Bernard Billy Children's Hospital, yeah. Albany Medical Center. Yeah. Yeah. So it, so she was born three months earlier, early back in June, um, and you know she lived there for three months. With my 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 brother and my sister in law were there almost every single day. I was there the the day she was born. Uh, she's great now. She's home. Uh, they did a great job helping her out. But honestly, like, just inspired me to change the the hospital that we're going to support this year for Extra Life. Um, you know, the last couple of years we've raised over a thousand dollars, like a total. Uh, so we'd love to just kind of every year we've gotten better too. So like, hopefully this year that's a, kind of our goal, uh, which we could dive into some of the ways we're going to get to that goal. Is to try to to, to to meet that number or try to try to break a thousand that's like like the big goal that we have for the for this uh for this year but again it has a really big uh kind of meaning to me uh specifically because my niece adeline was born and had to go through a children's hospital and was needed that support um just like all the other kids in the nick year in that hospital yeah and it's so amazing that hospitals like this exist to serve those families and to help bring those kids home eventually. So that, I mean, just so exciting that she got her start in that place and we're able to help, you know, kind of give back in a little way uh, doing this. So we're really excited for it. I know we've got some fun things in mind to, also, to, to entice people to come and watch and join in and help and donate and get us to that thousand dollars. Because really, this is our third year doing it. I mean, now we're kind of regulars at this. Mm -hmm. And Justin's goal, like, let's double what we've, you know, what we've been able to achieve, like, let's hit a thousand this year. And I think it's completely doable. So with your help, we can reach that goal. I know it was a big hit last year, and it's coming back. Blind Mario Kart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's what I'll add. We, oh, we kind of dived into where we're going. Like, if you're new to Extra Life or don't know what it is, uh, really quick, Extra Life. It's pretty much we. It's a it's a year long charity event where you just pretty much play games to kind of help raise money for kids. Whether you do a twenty four hour stream or you're doing like a big event with a bunch of people playing D and D board games, what have you. But the big thing is there is a thing called Game Day that ever on November second, pretty much the day of daylight savings time. But uh, like everyone gets together for that last push for the uh, the national extra life charity and to try to get as much money as you can on that particular day. And that's where we're going to do this 24 hour stream. You know, extra life has been around for many, many years and it really helps raise a lot of money. Uh, I mean, I think it's hit like a million. I know it's, I think it hit a billion dollars. I think maybe last year. Wow. I can't remember. I know it was really high. I, I should have fact checked that beforehand, but you know what I mean? <laughs> like it, it's just so you know what it is. Like that's what we're doing yeah, it for. It's, it's for yeah. children's hospitals across the country, even in Canada. And, you know, you can select which hospital you want to use, but you also can do it to all the different hospitals as well. And, so, and this is, it's a, it's an event sponsored by and really housed under the Children's Miracle Network, which is a very, you know, solid charity. So when you're donating, you know, you're donating to a trusted place that's going to use the money wisely. And we're so excited for November 3rd, Daylight Savings. Um, we're going to take that 24th hour though this year. I think, Justin, I think to make you happy, we're going to get that last hour in somehow. <laughs> I know they cut it short last time. But uh, yeah, so, but again, 20, November 2nd, just you know, November 2nd to the 3rd. So it starts the 2nd at, uh, 10, at 10 a.m. Uh, it'll be on our YouTube channel. We'll have the, the link in our the description. Obviously, if you want to go to the Extra Life page, that's going to be, that's in all of our video links and descriptions. We always have the link for all of our charity. Because that's kind of what we do this for too, is that hopefully we can do some good back. 
uh, by just doing a small hobby that we do on the side here. But like, yeah. if we can help support a charity uh, on top of that, that'd be great. Just share this with people. Hopefully you can attend and just help us out like during the event, which, you know, having people in the chat just makes us do more crazier things. We're going to have some other fun ideas, like a spinning a wheel. We might be doing some like kind of like acrobatic type of things, maybe playing Jenga one armed and one eyed. Who knows what's oh. going to happen? <laughs> Uh, so go check up our page and hopefully we can hit that goal of over a thousand dollars. Like let total, total we've raised over 1300. If we can dump, we can, we can do that again this year. Great. But the, really the biggest thing is to try to push for over a thousand. So, and the, any amount helps and hopefully you can be there to help us out. We know this is a difficult time for everybody and every little donation counts though. And at whatever level you're comfortable at, we encourage you to donate whatever you feel that you can give and to know that uh, all of this goes to children's hospitals. It's something that we, you know, as Justin said, we're very excited to give back to our communities in this way. And we're just so excited to use this small, fun hobby of ours to, you know, propel some good into the world. So your help will definitely uh, help us reach that goal. And we just thank you for your continued support. If you donated in the past, we thank you again. And we look forward to seeing you, hopefully, and hearing from you in the chat during our stream on Extra Life Game Day. Just remember, November 2nd, November 3rd, 10 a.m. to 10 a.m. We're going to be online all the time. We won't be stopping. But you always can donate before that. We can you can help us hit our milestones to do the events on the stream that day. And one big thing I forgot we forgot to mention we were working on the top goal to if you hit that we hit that goal we're going to be volunteering some time to a children's hospital. We're still looking to detail about that, but we are going to actually do some volunteering of time if we can hit that goal as well. All right, thank you very much. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you on game day, November second. <laughs>